what problem was Bitcoin looking to solve? So 2008 was an extremely uncertain time. Started when Lehman Brothers, an investment bank, collapsed. Uh, normally, just one investment bank, uh, banking institution of that size collapsing has a big effect on the economy. But Lehman Brothers was not the only one to go under. Other major investment banks started following suit, kind of dropping like flies, a domino effect. So what, this led to a very scary time of economic uncertainty. So what caused the financial crisis? Well, a lot of it has to do with the American housing market. Now, the middle class really bought into the American dream of owning property. And normally, in order to secure a loan for property, you need about 20% down payment in order to secure that loan. Uh, this is pretty standard. Now, what happened in 2008 that ultimately led to the financial crisis, certain institutions were only requiring a 5% down payment in order to secure the other 15% that would be a traditional down payment. That basically resulted in people having a smaller mortgage on top of an existing one. And this proved unsustainable. People could not afford to stay in their houses. Now, how did this affect the whole global market and not just the American housing market? It has to do with how these investments were packaged. Uh, there are vehicles called securities. And what securities are, are basically a bunch of unlike investments put together in the same investment vehicle. The best analogy to uh, make when talking about securities is it's kind of like sausage. You have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of investments that aren't necessarily like just going into the same investment vehicle. Now, the bad part about this, the risky part is if part of that investment, part of that security goes bad, the rest of it is going to go bad. It's going to jump and in effect, not just the American housing market, but the industries that were also part of that security. If part of the sausage goes bad, the whole sausage goes bad. So the house of cards completely collapsed. It was a complete global financial crisis. And what did the American government decide to do to bring relief to the average consumer? Well, when housing prices started to decline and everything started to collapse, banks ended up treating people like numbers on spreadsheets instead of citizens. The United States government really didn't directly help the citizens they decided to bail out these banks, something that Satoshi was completely opposed to. And this is why Satoshi came up with the idea of a blockchain. And what a blockchain provides, a really key component, is providing digital uniqueness without the use of centralized banks, kind of trying to bypass these institutions. So how is this achieved? Well, blockchains are ledgers that track transactions in a decentralized manner. Decentralized being the key word there. We'll get into the principle of that a little bit later, but basically what it means is you're not relying on the centralized bank to process these transactions. So anybody can make a database that maintains uniqueness. The tough part is sharing that database in order uh, so that not just one computer is enforcing it, but is maintained across the whole network. So transactions don't have to necessarily be money. Uh, it could be goods or data. So retail purchases or personal ID numbers. So the uh, technology, while having to deal with money transmission, has applications beyond that. All transactions, this is a really key part, all transactions that are part of the blockchain are timestamped, ordered, and cannot be altered at all time. This avoids repeat entries also provides a unique public receipt for all transactions that increases the transparency of the network. You can basically see where all the money is going every transaction. 